if you're an intending medical student or you're already in med school and your grades are getting low or your grades are super low and you're worried that you may not even pass or you're looking for better ways to study smart because i always say this in med school it's more beneficial to study smart and not hard in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys five tips on how to study smart and effectively in order to get very good grades so hello lovies welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is adi beautiful adi in case you're meeting me for the first time i am currently a third year medical student living and studying in philippines on my channel i basically share about my experiences living and studying here in the philippines as a foreign student so without wasting much time let's head right into the video before i start first things first if you're studying as an international student the first thing you need to do as a medical student in the new country where you are studying is to find out how the system of education there works because for example if you're coming from nigeria where we are mostly based on theory and based questions and you come to a new country like philippines where in med school um well depending on the school though but most schools here the system of education or the way they ask their questions is multiple choice questions so the first thing you need to do is that you need to learn and get used to the new system of education in your new country that's the first and the most important thing you need to do so moving forward make friends with the seniors in your school or in your medical school if you're in first year it's good you make friends with seniors in second year or third year or even those in the final year so this is because these people are already ahead of you they are used to the doctors they already know the courses that you're going to be offering let's say in your first year and they are going to be telling you how the doctors in this situation i'm going to be using doctors they already know how the doctors um, make their exams for example there are doctors that base their exams solely on the powerpoint presentation there are some doctors that would prefer to set questions based on what they have said during the lecture and that's where it's important to attend lectures and listen carefully to those kind of doctors and there are also some doctors that would like to set questions in the reference textbooks that they mentioned in class so when you're close or when you're friends with your seniors they are going to guide you through because all doctors they, they are not the same they are different make friends with your seniors ask them how um does so so and so doctor sets exam questions for example in physiology ask about the, doc the doctor that takes you for anatomy asks about the doctor that takes you for histology when you're able to understand the way these doctors set their questions it can actually guide you through on how you, you are going to go about your study because one of the important things you need to understand in med school is that you need to study smart it's not about how hard you study it's about how smart you study and how much you can retain so if you have a doctor who literally gets exam questions from what he says in the lecture and you go about studying the big textbooks waste your time studying all the big textbooks you can find you find out that at the end of the day maybe during the exam you may not get very good scores because what the doctor is going to ask in that exam is based on what he has said so you need to listen to the lecture and that's where it comes in when you ask your seniors it will it even make your study less stressful because you already know okay this doctor asks from what he has said in the lecture this doctor know, um, asks questions based on his powerpoint presentation this doctor asks based on this particular textbook so make friends with your seniors ask them questions you mustn't be that social or an extrovert to be able to make friends even if it means one or two people that can actually guide you through for me i'm not really like <laughs> i know it may sound very funny but i'm not really like a very i'm not an extrovert i don't make friends easily but what i did i 
have a couple of people I talk to, I'll just message you or if I see you somewhere, I'll ask you, oh, how is this lecturer? How is this course? Do you get? So that's where you're going to study smart because you don't, you don't need to waste your time studying things when this particular doctor is going to be getting questions from what he has said in class. So that's a very important point that you need to take seriously. So the second point, make use of um, YouTube videos. This has been very helpful to me. Sometimes before I even read my textbook or before I even read the PowerPoint presentations, I like to go to YouTube and watch um, a YouTube video on that topic. There are tons and tons of teachers and doctors on YouTube who have already taught those topics. When I watch those videos and then I study my textbook, it makes my reading faster because I already have an idea of what that particular topic is about. And most of these doctors on YouTube, they already know the salient or the important points in that particular topic. So they break it down for you and teach you very well. So that when you go back to read your textbooks or your teacher's slides, it makes it easier and faster for you like i always say the key point is how to study smart not studying hard for example for me personally if i watch a youtube video for example before i start studying my textbook if i'm going to study the textbook for say two hours if i watch a youtube video and study the textbook my textbook study time may be one hour because i already have an idea of what that topic is about and there are tons and tons of youtube um, doctors or youtube uh, medical channels that can that are very helpful and i'm going to be listing some of them for you sorry i'll be looking down because i wrote them down here on my notes so the first channel i will be recommending for you is ninja nerd is um the doctor i, I don't know if he's a doctor but his name is zach so if you want a detailed study, the kind of videos you see on Ninja Ned are very detailed videos like 15 minutes, one hour, one hour, 30 minutes. So if you want a detailed study of any particular topic, then visit Ninja Ned on YouTube. The second channel I'll be recommending is Osmosis. Osmosis is, is a channel every medical student needs to be subscribed to because they break down topics for you and make it very easy for you in such a way that when you go back to read your textbook you would find it a lot easier another channel is alila medical media for alila medical media it's it's basically an overview if you want like an overview of a topic or a quick overview of a topic then you go for alila medical media systemic lupus erythematosus sle or simply lupus is an autoimmune disorder where the body's immune system attacks its own tissue. Lupus is characterized by multi-system inflammation and production of autoantibodies that bind to the body's own antigen. And the next one is Amado. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm not pronouncing it well, but the next one is Amando Hassan Dugan. He's a physician based in Sydney in Australia. It's another channel I always watch. It's very helpful. Another channel is Dr. Najib Lectures. He's very good in pathology. So if you're looking for a pathology topic, just go to his channel. You will definitely find those topics there. And lastly, this is not just the only channels I watch. Maybe if you want me to make a separate video where I list all the YouTube channels, I use for my studies then please leave it in the comment section and the next one is surgical educator surgical educator is by dr sel baraj i'm sorry if i'm not calling it well he's from malaysia and for this particular channel he basically if you want to have a review of clinical cases he's very good in that especially surgical clinical cases so i would highly recommend his channel especially for your clinical presentations is very good he's going to explain things in detail the third point is to make your own notes I believe this is very important because when you're studying your textbook right make your own notes in such a way that when you come back for your second reading it's going to make your reading faster as opposed to when you don't make your own notes sometimes when I read my when I do my first reading I jot down my notebooks I have my own notebook 
where I make my own paraphrase notes so that way when I'm going for my exams or maybe when I want to go back again it's very easy for me to understand it because I've made these notes in my own words in a way that I would understand them so making your own notes is very important the fourth point which is very very important is to get review questions like I, I said earlier, make friends with your seniors because if you make friends with them, if they have like review questions from previous years, they can actually share that with you. It's not just about studying, right? When you study, also make reviews, like review the questions from previous years because it will give you an idea of how the questions come in exams go through them like two or three times for your exam if you're even able to find review questions for years as far back two, two to three years before your batch it's also going to be very helpful if you review it like two or three times with reading your own personal notes and also whichever way your doctor sets questions if it's someone that says from the powerpoint or if it's someone that sets questions from what he has said in the class trust me your grades are going to improve i'm mentioning this point because it's something i really did not pay attention to in my beginning years of med school school i would go and read textbooks i'll keep reading textbooks i will not review questions from previous years and it really affected my grades but i found out that by the time i started going to review questions and also another important thing you know there are some textbooks that also have end of chapter questions use those end of chapter questions it's also going to help you to know how far you know in a particular topic so like i was saying when i started reviewing questions from my seniors or from the previous batch and comparing it to when i didn't used to review those questions my grades improve a lot so i believe if you also apply that your grades are going to improve a lot make friends with your seniors like you don't need to like i said you don't need to be very very like you don't need to be an extrovert you can just send them a message if you know anyone or if you if you meet anyone in your school just walk up to them introduce yourself politely tell them that you're maybe in your first year or that you're in your second year and you would really need their help to guide you through your studies and trust me people are very willing to help you if you speak up and if you show that you, you know that you really need their help they are really going to help you and the last but not the least point is also to get review books but this point does not really apply to all the courses like i mentioned earlier make friends with your seniors in that way they are going to tell you which particular courses would need you to get a review book when i mean review books review books are more like paraphrased for example in pediatrics the textbook we used is nelson pedia right and then there's a review book for it a review textbook for pedia is uh, pedia platinum in pedia platinum is basically like it's summarized they get to summarize things in that particular textbook let's imagine you're going to spend about two to three hours reading a particular topic in the nelson pedia with the platinum because it's already summarized you don't need to spend so much time you know reading it so ask your seniors if that particular course will need you to get a review book then also get a review book because it's it's kind of when you read the textbook the bigger textbook you have how i explain it is that you have a lot of information in your head but when you boil it down and break it down to the review textbook the review textbook kind of tells you the most important things you need to know or the most important points you need to know that may be likely that may be likely exam questions so the textbooks the bigger textbooks like they are how do i explain this the bigger textbook there are lots of points so the points are all over in your head but the 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 review textbook kind of brings it compresses it together and tells you okay this is what you need to know you get so also make use of review textbooks if it's going to be helpful in that in a particular course and trust me if you're able to apply these five points i have stated and you make good use of it judiciously like i have said your grades are literally going to improve and if your grades does not improve just send it <laughs> leave a comment in the video and tell me that you tried this and it did not work okay that's how certain i am regarding it and also lastly make sure you pray because sometimes it's not even about how hard you study you also need god so pray pray and pray prayer works so when you study smart also pray right and i believe 
your grades are going to improve a lot better and lastly before i end this video i did mention that youtube sent me an email i think a couple of weeks back and there are also new ways for you to support my channel so on the tab where you have the like the dislike button you're also going to see a tab with a heart sign a sign with a heart sign and dollar sign so when you click on it um it actually helps you to make donations to my channel that if this content has been helpful to you you can click on that and make donations to my channel it's another way for you to support me you can also give me a like a simple like from you actually tells youtube that you know you enjoyed this video so the more the likes the more likely the the youtube algorithm will recommend my channel to other people and if you've not subscribed please make sure to don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i will see you in my next video take care bye